What's happening, you glorious motherfuckers? We are back again to continue on this nice, enjoyable session of the Hand of Fate. Uh, last time we defeated. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rats. I don't know. Probably. Um, last time we defeated the Queen of Dust and we got the Goblet, which does all these different things. Mainly gives us slightly better gear and it increases what we can do a little bit, but makes everything else harder. Which, you know, fun, right? So, the Jack of Plague. Twice the fail. Uh, the player loses 5 gold for every fail and 10 gold for every huge fail. So, in other words, as long as we don't fail the card checks, we'll be fine. Um, here is a here is a beast who hates your kind and has grown fat and evil with the hatred with that hatred. Uh, the jack of plague would kill you and suck the marrow of your bones. Eh, whatever. Ah, what? the rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and writhe. Yeah, yeah, you done, buddy? You done? Cool. Um, so yeah, now we're able to hold 18 cards in a deck, which means we're able to fit more nice cards in, but there's also, uh, we can't pick and choose as much as we could before, so let's see if there's anything specific we want, and not really. So, we're good in the equipment department. As for the encounters, um, I do not, let me try to find it, um, honestly the ambush can go and we can take the devil's wager, um, Huh. I'm thinking take the Dead King's Hall, take the Smuggler's Wharf, and remember, wind I'll take out Winding Trail and put in the Field of Poppies. I think that's fair. I don't know. Good enough for me. So let's start it. Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. Well, I hope he likes a sword slash hammer slash axe in his spine, because that's all he's going to get from me. Bring it, muchacho. So what are we starting with this time? So we start with a regular axe now instead of a rusty one. We still have light armor. So we have that curse. And we actually start with a shield. It's nothing special, but it's still a shield. And we have three ways we can go. Um, I'll start this way. The maiden. This is the and it's the special maiden we got from before. I don't know if there's anything there's a actually different for you from. if you win. Um It looks exactly the same. Your thoughts turn to Mr. Lionel and his need for some elven hair. Um request I'm gonna be nice and ask. Uh considers for a moment before slicing a few strands of her hair, as you wish, but be cautious, mortal. You have the taint of goblin about you, and they nev can never be trusted. Um, the elders of our kind often say that we must retread paths we once took in order to gain the advantage of the on the present. So, do we have to re-equip the uh, goblin card from before with Mr. Lionel? Oh, that's the end of the level. along a muddy road. Suddenly. 
Yeah, actually, I'm gonna go back. Because I want these cards. So this is an easy way to get a better weapon. We just have to keep track of where the... Okay, I believe this one should be good. So let's see what we get. Uh, desperate measures. So it's one. Of th it's the hammer from before. Sure, I'll take the holy effect. I don't know if we're gonna be fighting in much undead, but it's still nice to have. It yes. amuses me to watch them theorize, to attempt to discern the very likeness of the gods down to their toes. Yeah, fuck you. Anyways, I am going to give him half my food. Huge success. Just try to follow it. This should be it. Yes! Uh, now, arcane I knowledge. That a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please don't. Uh, arcane knowledge. Whenever the player uses an artifact, there's a 30% chance of it immediately reducing its cooldown time by 80%. So that's eh. Treasure Very picker. Nice indeed. When a player chooses from multiple multiple equipment cards or game cards, the choice available are increased by one. And Mr. Lionel. Um I'm still gonna ask him what does he need. Uh immediately begins to wander around. Dep? Did you just take my fucking hammer? Um. I will take really? the armor. Is that what you're going to do? Um. We shall meet again, the goblin suddenly declares before. Yeah, he took my hammer. Well, that's just great, and we are down to. Your provisions are running low. Can you press on? <sighs> okay. So yeah, Mr. Lionel. Each stole... of these cards is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. So yeah, these cards are from our memories. That's interesting. But we're down to one food and we lost our magical hammer. Treasure chest. A Ooh. treasure chest? What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? Well, explore in a dungeon you see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. I swear to God, if it's a mimic, I'm gonna kill someone. The chest may hold great wealth within the chamber, but maybe trapped. Still can try it. So we just need one of the successes. This one. Yes, come on, food. Or something good. Win this and claim my token. Uh, the treasure chest looks battered but still intact. What treasure might it hold? Attempt to open it. Choose from these options. Fuck! Damn it. Food is crucial for healing. If you travel without food, your strength will not be restored between encounters. You'll also begin to starve. It seems you'll learn that soon enough, though. I'll be fine, but damn it. The deeper you go, the greater the risk of starvation. A challenge for you. And a token if you succeed. You encounter a priest wandering along the road. Uh, we don't have any food to give him. He begs for food to feed the orphanage, the orphans. The gods show favor to those who help less fortunate. Then the children will go hungry this winter. Yeah, I'm also going hungry right now, buddy. I'm sorry. Battle at Brooktop. These places are rife with power. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. A warlock? Hmm. 
A light draws you to a near nearby hilltop, where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind his summoned minions. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'll fight. I may not have my fancy smancy hammer, but I still got an axe. And that's all I need to kick some ass. There we go. Not too hard. I'm sorry my commentary kind of goes out the window when I'm in the middle of combat. It's just simply because I'm focusing and all. Two game cards. Come on, food. Health is nice. I was missing 14. I don't need 50 fucking health. Uh, as you climb down the other side of the hill, you spy what looks like the remains of an ancient temple. Okay. Yeah. Traveling Tinker. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. You might as well see what he has. Even though we chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. Uh, at least what items does he have first? Yeesh, not really anything that good either. Um, do we have anything we can sell? No. Food. Three food for four dollars. No, it's for eleven. Um... Oh wait, I'm confused. Okay, so we could buy a single food. Great. Um, the shopping system kind of confuses me a little bit. I don't know, it seems a little glitchy. Anyways, let's continue. Ratman hunting. Now you hunting. begin to trespass upon the Ratman's hunting grounds. Okay, so we're fighting humanoid rats now. Great. You stumble upon Ratman hunting party. Prepare to defend yourself. Four of plague. Bring it, you furry little bastards. Plague by name. Oh, that was quick. Plague by nature. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. So as they die, I'm guessing I will take damage. Okay, not too hard. Didn't take any damage, but we're out of food again. So unless we get loot. Oh god, so when we kill them, we get food. That's good to know. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Your path forward would take you into the forest. Let's go. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Well, me personally, I'm just here to make YouTube videos, but uh, yeah. Call for the priests. In a shitty grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventures. I'm not even going to bother looking at it. Embedded arrival. We play for a token now. Uh, you are minding your own business when a local in a local tavern. When suddenly three masked men burst through the doors, grab a young man from the bar, 
and manhandled him outside. One patron bursts out in a protest, but is quickly silenced by the solemn stares of those around him. Leave them be, Garrett. It is his time, then it must be done. Yeah, I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna fuck some people up. Uh, you follow the masked man outside. Immediately, you are confu con confronted by a large crowd all wearing masks. The leader speaks to you. Whoa there, stranger. I really would prefer that no outsider witness what we are, what we're about to do here. I know this may look like a godforsaken thing we do, but you have no idea of our troubles. So I ask you not to involve yourself. I will not ask twice. We will. Ha we have no time for objections. The crowd turns and brags away the drags away the young man, the torch is burning a mournful light into the distance. Once the light has faded from sight, you follow their path into the forest. You catch up with them, and to your surprise, they are gathered around a yawning portal that whirls with- hurry up. We don't have forever. Fuck you, shut up. That whirls with malicious potent. Despite the disguise, it is obvious that none of the hooded figures relish the sight before them, and the many are obviously distraught. The captive is carried to the portal atop the shoulders of six people as though they were his coffin bearers, and he is already dead. The young man's struggles are subdued by bounds of rope. Yeah, I'm gonna interrupt to see what happens. Because what's the worst that could happen, huh? Giant tentacle reaches through the uh, portal and grabs me. Uh, you burst forth from your hiding place and plead with the assembled crowd not to th throw with what, not to go through with whatever bizarre ritual they are engaged in. But you gain no support. The leader, their leader, eventually speaks above the crowd. If this man is so adamant that one of our own should not be sent to the underworld, then perhaps he should go himself. You are immediately seized by the crowd and pushed towards the portal. Try as you might, they are too strong for you and you cannot escape. You stumble and fall into the portal. You fall to the ground with only a gentle jolt and find yourself in a forest that bears a most striking resemblance to where you just were but with two very significant differences. The crowd of masked onlookers are gone and the sky burns with bright red flames. Out of the sulfur and flames emerges foul hell beasts. Four of hell, huh? So, we're fighting demons now, and we're in hell. Eh. I've made worse decisions in my life. So you know what? Oh, they're just the rat people with different textures on. Cheaped out on your budget then, guys, did ya? Eh, they hit kinda hard. Okay, you... Bastards need to fucking die now. Because I could really use that fucking hammer right now, Mr. Lionel. Okay, no, you die. And I am going to go back and slaughter that group of masked motherfuckers who sent me here. After you destroy the last hell beast, the portal stirs back into life. You are lifted off your feet and sucked into the vortex. Before being deposited back in the leafy forest, you were ejected from earlier. This card's token is, is now token. yours. Well done. That's it? Smuggler's Wharf. Again, a token is at stake. No which port is a little more than wooden planks sticking out over water. It's a den of 
inequality or inquility visitors and encounter in encounters god damn these medieval words fucking are killing me uh uh obviously not welcome you spend your time getting acquainted with the workings of the wharf looking for avenues to gain information um you have found three ways you might find out about missing ships steal some logs bribe a worker or help the captain drown his sorrows um you know what screw it i'm gonna try to steal it so i have to follow the huge success i think this is it no as far away from that as possible um, your cookie surrounded. Okay. And now we're being attacked again. <laughs> eh. Look, I'm not always. I don't always have to be the smartest guy, do I? Damn, why are they being spawned so far away? Bring it. Also, note to self, I'm taking that Mr. Lionel card out of the, of the deck next time I play, if I can. Because he took that one mace, which I believe the damage on that is like 32, and this axe is just 20. Things would be dying much quicker if we had that mace. And we don't get it. Fuck. The crucible. A crucible to heat and purify the flawed metal. You, in this case. <sighs> I'm all, I'm almost half dead. I'm hoping this card right here is the ending of this. Uh, the town of Stegel sits upon only safe crossing the river Ernest. However, the only adventures allowed to cross are those who pass through the Crucible. I'll enter it. Choose your opponent wisely, yells the man from the crowd. I'm betting on you. You know what? I'm going to take the harder fight. Because, fuck it. We are the glorious motherfuckers and we don't back down from a challenge. Oh, okay, that's... That's a little... Uh, prickly, I'd say. Oh, shit. Okay, so depending on the direction on which I dodge... Very much matters. Damn, I fucking kicked my foot into his chest to kill him. God damn. You survived around and do it again. Yeah, I'm uh I'm gonna pick the easier fight now. If you don't mind, uh, eesh. Look, don't you guys judge me. I picked the harder one the first time. How do you like your own fucking trap? Okay, that was a lot easier. Come on, what's next? Um, 
After surviving the crucible, you are paraded through the town and allowed to continue upon your adventure. A few random peasants throw coins at you saying you've made me rich, warrior. The dealer draws you four gold gain cards. Holy shit! So we may be starving, but we're rich. I like it. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Yeah, I am. And we also get the token. Nice. What an ignominious way to go. I do hope you find something to eat soon. They will not let you pass so easily. Prepare yourself. <sighs> okay. How hard can it be for rat men? I just have to make sure I don't get too carried away in my combos. And I'll be fine. Knock it off and die. And where is your fucking leader? And now I get some food from these motherfuckers. Thank you. Is this your leader? No, I have another level to go through. A fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Hey, fuck you, I have friends. Can you hear the way his claws scratch the tiles? So I'm guessing that's him down there. Angry mob. So quick to anger. That's what makes them a mob, really. You approach a small town of Witchburn. Ooh. That's a great name for a fucking town. Um, marches forth to confronts you. Um, the rat men have eaten all of our food. We're starving. We demand food. Fuck you. You explain that you have almost no food left for yourself. At the sight of the mere morsel forward to fight over it. Wow. So I instantly lost the slight amount of food. Ooh. I don't care if they have any food, I'll take it. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Food. Three food. I'll take it. Eh. Actually. Okay, so we're up to six. Do we have any trinkets on here that will be helpful? Okay, Poison. so this. It's the tool of the traitor. All weapons attacks are enhanced with a powerful poison that taints the victim's mind and body. Well, one money away from that. Whenever the player Wealth receives healing, health, a recipe for a happy life. I doubt things will end that way, mind you. I kind of want that poison thing. So you know what? I'm going to sell my shield. Yes, I am willing to sell my shield. This alchemist could have turned his mind to the creation of gold or wonderful substances to better mankind, but instead settled for crafting vile poisons. Disgraceful. Artifacts give you powerful abilities to use in combat. Local peasant. Hungry mouths. War leaves nothing else. While crossing the forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year in the forest. Behind her, you sense movement. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And we only have five food. Yeesh. Okay, look. I'm gonna take the risk and I'm gonna give her two food. Uh, eagerly passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest. While children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she has seen and heard recently. 
Okay. So, we know that's the devil's choice. We can skip the mage. And I don't think we need the field of poppies. So, I'm thinking devil's choice, ramen hunting, kill them, get some food. Depending on the food that we have, we may go to the mage, not see what they have, feel the poppies, then jack of plague. Okay. Okay, so the devil's choice. Though I admire his ilk, I live by very different rules. Uh-huh, sure you do, buddy. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your strength, so-called hero. Choose a foe. I'll take the four of dust. I'm feeling confident. Hmm, since that is whom you wish to fight, I think today I shall make you fight the others instead, just for fun. So... <laughs> it was a trick. If I had chosen one of the smaller ones, those are who I, I... Okay. So because I was being a tough guy, I lucked out. Nice. For me, anyways. Because I don't have a shield, I don't have a warning when a hits up, something's about to hit me. So not having a shield does kind of suck. I won't lie. But I think we're fine. Three gain cards. Okay, we get an equipment of Helm of Reflection. Of course, defense, but a valuable one nonetheless. Eh, I think it's kind of useless for me right now. More food. All the food in the world. Damn. Once loosed upon the lands, the rats will find you, no matter where you go to ground. Yeah, well... Well, are we on a ship? Yeah, we're on a ship. Okay. Long-ranged fighters need to die first. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So without a shield, I get kind of sloppy with fighting because I don't get the heads up on when I'm about to be hit. Uh, you sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there were another way to stop the plague of ratmen. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps? Huh. That's... An interesting thing to put there. So, huh? Mage sell mages sell only specific items that that they've discovered in faraway lands. But there's a goblin sitting at a nearby tree stump. Oh boy, says the familiar voice. A. Okay, that was worth it. Would you be interested in purchasing a few supplies? I offer better rates than that shot in the way. Oh, I thought you wanted. 10 food for only 40 gold. No, fuck you. No, I have two gold. Do you have a hard bargain? But uh, here, have an apple. Um. Okay, so he gave me a food. Okay, feel I have of poppies. always felt a kinship to the puppy. 
Together we help you forget and also recall. So it's a field of drugs. Nice. Uh, you wander among a field of poppies. Too late, you realize that the poppies are making you sleepy. You wake up groggy and disoriented. Okay, so we forgot what some of the cards are, but... Once the ratmen begin to creep towards the edge of the town, anger follows shortly behind. I see now. <sighs> I'm gonna run because I don't see any other way out of this. Okay, the starving peasants don't have the energy to catch you and you flee. Traveling jeweler. No, I can't. More rat men. The jack of rats shows his true nature. Screw it. Where's the jack of plagues? Let me find him already. So that way I can shove my axe between his goddamn shoulder blades and kill this cocksucker already. Just die already. Okay then. Do they have any food? They do have some food. Three food. The local peasant Feast, woman. Famine and everything in between. So it's the lady from before. Um, the woman takes the same thing. Um, you have given up enough food to survive the winter. She retrieves a sack from behind a bush. This was my husband before he died. Uh, this was my husband's before he died. Okay, so we, if we give her five, she gives us a special thing. Huh. So it's gloves that make us faster. Okay, and she also talks about what's nearby. And we get the token. Hmm, okay. Um, he awaits plague and pestilence and blood and teeth. So he makes the other rats around him move faster. Memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. You say that like every time, buddy. So we have to fight five rats, and one of them special. Sup, Jack? Okay, so go for Jack first. Okay, never mind. I need to go for these guys. Come on. Okay. Trapped in a corner. Come on, you motherfucker. There we go. All of your minions are dead. Now shut up and die. Kings of the rat kind have lost a child here today. The token is yours. Let us see what you do with your newfound abilities. For slaughter, your reward. So, 
We get the card where we can go back to Lionel. Um, good fortune, 25 gold, and the altar. Okay, hopefully we'll get to go there next time. For getting sent to hell, we now have... Alice in Underworld. Fun. Um, for surviving the arena, we get... A draw to armory. Noble Traveler, so that's new. A Wife's Fury. And Loan. Huh. Okay. Uh, for feeding the local peasant woman, we received a draw three for the map. Okay, that's nice. A great home of reinforcement. Interesting. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Berserk armor, that's nice. Scorching zeal, that's nice. Culling the rat men. King of dust. So he's who we're going after next. Devil's Carnival. And Ember Town Hero. And last. Ratman Hunting, Ratman Hunting. So from now on, there will always. Play. I do not want to just sit here. So from Look now at on. The cards you have earned. Yeah. Now we have enough to begin a real game. Yeah, okay, shut up. Okay. Just, just shut up, Mr. Blue Robe. Anyways. So, now from now on, there's going to be rat men to hunt. And now we're going after the King of Dust. Or the King of Bandits. Or something along those lines. So. Yeah, we almost started this, this day. This time, this day, whatever the fuck. Anyways. Um. So yeah, that was an adventure. We nearly died. And it's becoming harder. But I'm enjoying it. I am. I'll admit it. I'm having fun here. And hopefully you guys are, are having fun watching. So, I will see you glorious motherfuckers. Next time, where we go after... The King of Dust. Bye.